my best man, but little did I know that you'd be crossing boundaries left and right and left and right! Oh, speaking of crossing boundaries, you should see some of this other stuff. We got all kinds of videos from The Bachelor. How do you get these videos? How do I get these videos, Edgar? Everyone has it. Look, here. Do you mind if I use your computer for a second? Thanks. Look. <laughs> Check this out. There's a whole website devoted to it. There's a whole website. EdgarPicks.com When were you going to tell me this? I... I wasn't! <laughs> um, hey mom, how much longer do you think this funeral is going to be? Because I ain't got plans. <laughs> mom, you look mad. I, I, no, I'm no, I'm not mad, I'm not mad. Um, we all give you different ways, we all give you different ways. Um, sweetheart, I can't guarantee like a hard out for the funeral. Um, you know, people just need to process their feelings. Your, your grandmother's probably going to be talking for a little while, you know. Yeah, but she my grandma would want me to go, I think. I don't know if that's true. I mean, Grandpa, if you were alive, he would say I, he wanted me to go. I think Grandpa would want you to listen to Grandma, even if she starts doing that thing where she starts talking about recipes at inappropriate times, <laughs> listing out the ingredients. She needs a cheering section. Your grandfather's dead. I need something. I need emotion out of you, honey. Okay, um, I'm really sad that I'm gonna be late for <laughs> throwing rocks at geese later. That's what me and the boys are doing. <laughs> and mom, it's so important. You, we've been planning it for like weeks. <laughs> I have so many questions. Um, <laughs> I'd love to get to the part about how that took weeks, but <laughs> I'm just gonna say, and this is this is something that adults have to do all the time. I want you to take that frustration and the yeah. sadness about not being able to. No, don't do that bendy thing. Don't be jelly. <laughs> don't do it. So, honey, honey, this isn't always gonna work. Okay, don't it always right works, now. Mom. It's working right now. It's working right now. It's working right, 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 right now. I want you to take some of that frustration and anger you feel, and I want you to apply it to your dead grandfather. <laughs> able to throw rocks at those geese, and I want you to... Mom? Baby? The boys called me a coward at school. <laughs> and Grandpa said I wasn't a coward and that I should always try to be brave. So I guess I was just trying to honor his memory. <laughs> Is that a lie? Is that a lie? Is that bullshit? like jellyfish, but we also like things with spines. Boys at school say I don't have a spine. Uh -huh. Sweetie, sweetie, oh, okay. <laughs> no, Mom, we're good. They got the same. <laughs> You know what? Will you get in the car? Mom, what? Are you gonna get in the car? <laughs> Mom, are you gonna get in the car? I'm getting out of the car. No, come on. I'm out of the car. I'm out of the car. I'm out of the car. I'm out of the Thank you. I'm out of the car. Obviously, I don't want to. I don't get to go on the family vacation. No. It's a family vacation. Dad gets to go, but Mark doesn't get no to go. No one's saying Mark doesn't get to go. We do it. We do it. I'm 
someone can't handle someone feeling their feelings? Is that what's happening? Oh, she's missing oh, no. up. She's doing that thing. She's doing where the she's thing. Missing up. She's doing the thing. Up. You can cry as much as you want, Ronald. You can cry as much as you want. You don't have to baby him. I'm not baby him. He's 34. It's impossible to baby him. <laughs>
porn. <laughs> Pornography was first created in England in 1682. Since then, many layers have been peeled away like an onion. Take a deep breath. I didn't want to learn about porn. I wanted to. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna be honest. Bing didn't know anything of that. Didn't know any of that. Anything else you want to ask? Uh, I feel like we've got a, a backlog of Bing requests that we just haven't gotten to because we don't know anything uh, about anything. Let's see, John Who's Ham pictures. <laughs> Coming up, John Ham walking at the beach. <laughs> is, is he acting? <laughs> is he just acting out what we're asking him to do? John Ham, she's always is this is smoking a cigarette. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty now that I'm like remembering back to early internet, I think it was just Jeeves showing us. John Hammond Fargo riding a horse. <laughs> Jeeves, I actually do have a question for you. Where are you from? That accent, I cannot place it. My accent developed. When I first walked in, it was normal. I didn't know what was happening. Now it's developing. Is this like AI? Is this what AI yes, is? Yes, I knew it! I am AI and I am deteriorating. I am made of DNA. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm going to go to Google. No, 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 I'm gonna get out of here. Well, I'm way too horny for this. Please let me go. <laughs> Jeeves, no, please. Jeeves, no. deteriorating. A puddle of blood, mucus, and brain matter. How is that possible? I thought he was a computer. Was he alive? Uh, oh, we don't know how AI works. There's so much we don't know. We're big. We don't know how anything works. I should be good for you. Let me go. <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm waiting for you in the car. What's going on? Nothing. You want us to tell him why you're here? No, don't, please, don't. We'll tell him why you're here. We'll tell him right you now. You can tell him about the porn, but not the Johnny Hand picture. <laughs> how we became friends. Um, so that's, I don't know if that's a fun, I don't know what you can do with that, but that's well, just college, a fun. What college is that, Rachel? No, 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 what college went to uh, New York University, NYU. Um, um, but anyway, so I was, I was a counselor at the summer camp, and what was bizarre about it is it was a summer, it was, it was, a, it was like a rotating summer camp. So, so people, kids would be there for like two, three weeks at a time, so it was like kind of a summer camp, kind of not, but it didn't have teenage counselors, because that's what's usual for a summer camp, is you have teenage counselors because you earn shit money. This was for college students and older, so there were counselors there who were like into their 30s, and it was a group of just, in, just truly insane people. Um, uh, okay, this is, pro okay, so, Okay, the first day I'm there, I meet one of the counselors, and uh, his name is Matt, and he's deaf. And I'm like, great, he's deaf, that's great, but it's been described to me that he's a perfect lip reader, that, that we don't have to sign or anything, that he reads our lips perfectly. Um, and he sounds deaf, he's like, this will make sense later, he's doing a voice like someone who is deaf would speak. Okay, this he's is also- This so problematic. <laughs> no, 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 no. Also, this, will, this will make sense. So, I also thought he is a bassoon major at a local college, and I'm like, he's a Beethoven prodigy. He's deaf, but a bassoon major. Okay, two weeks go by at this camp, summer camp. 
uh, someone comes up to me and they go, hey, Matt, Matt wants to talk to us all in this room. You go in this room and Matt goes, yeah, guys, I'm not really deaf. <laughs> Matt was doing a social experiment. No. All of us, including the children at the camp to see how people treated him when he was deaf no. as opposed to after he was deaf. He got clearance from the camp for this. What? <laughs> so when I say he's doing a deaf voice, like, this whole time this person was doing like an accurate but like retroactively offensive uh, yeah. impression of a deaf, and his excuse was that his, I think his, uh, his someone his family was deaf, but anyway, it like, it completely fucked up. I could never trust this person again. Uh, and then, and that was really interesting. So he was a bassoon major who was doing his some sort of thesis about how society treats the deaf, but also working on the bassoon. Um, I just can't emphasize enough the bassoon. Um, and then also, um, uh, I watched Matt. So so uh, this was in LA, and we we all took a day where we went to uh, we all took where we went to Hollywood. And we all, I grew up in LA, but I wasn't cool. And so like, we all went to where we thought it was cool, which is Hollywood Boulevard, which is the worst section of LA. So we're, so we're walking along Hollywood Boulevard being like, yeah, we're stars. And Matt's like, hold on everyone. I need to go get some assless leather chaps. And so then we just start this hunt for Matt and his assless leather chaps. And we spend the whole day looking for the perfect pair of assless chaps for Matt, who, who weeks ago had pretended to be deaf. But we all just had to go along with it because Matt was our alpha, I guess. And then, and then Matt was like, hold on, I need to get my septum pierced. And we're like, okay, Matt. And so then we just watched Matt get his septum pierced. And like, how do I feel about this? Was I, was I gaslit? I don't think I was. But at the end of the day, I know Wild Arts Camp allowed a grown man to come in and perform a social experiment on his fellow counselors and children, and I was only paid $800 for the whole summer. Thank you. <laughs> Flip 
jewelry purse, we were just talking about dancing. Do you like to dance? Do I like to dance? Yeah. <laughs> Not really. But I like people who are interested in me wondering if I like to dance. I'm real into that. I'm going to make you a cup of tea. Thank you. Um, oh, where was I? I was talking about my friends dancing downtown. Yeah. Um, and you know what's so crazy? I think you might have an identical twin or something. Someone who looks just like you who loves to dance. Don't you think it's just him that he's fine? <laughs> Thanks for uh, agreeing to have this little meeting 
with us. Um, very, very interested in bringing you on board uh, for the show. Um, so happy to be here. No, no, but you know, you have a really impressive resume. Um, this says that you were a dramaturg for porn. <laughs> How so? Front and center. <laughs> uh, I did uh, <clears throat> several things. Uh huh. Creating. <laughs> Okay. Participated in, yes. then critiqued okay. many pornographic scenarios in and around the area. <laughs> with and without a professional stunt help, okay. on our own and with company. Consenting adults, yeah. yes, sometimes. <laughs> Everything notarized on the up and up, health checks. Yeah. Uh, so far, you haven't said anything that's not just listed right here on the resume, right? <laughs> Uh, were they historical fiction? Yes, a lot. <laughs> what is act? What is acting? <laughs> but not finding inside your soul the 1793 Spaniards that we are. <laughs> is the accent working for you? The, uh, yes. Does it sound authentic? The, the accent <laughs> sounds authentic. Uh, 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 but, uh, but I remember always oh, the pornography. I like what you're doing. And I, uh, uh, perhaps, hey, a phallus, a phallus symbol symbolizing Columbus on a new world. Don't bore the pinta, the nina, and the son of I don't understand how this pertains to the nation of Spain and our lovemaking. It, it doesn't matter as long as we perspire in unity. And smile, smile out of the show. I think I quit acting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so historical fiction, loose, loose, loose adaptation, <laughs> and adapted historical uh, fiction. Okay, the uh, fall and the rise of the Roman Empire. Uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, and, and that's and that's great. Um, what do you think you would bring to Annie? <laughs> I see any is potential, potential, potential. <laughs> that makes me a little nervous. <laughs> Please let me approach Annie and the company approach me with open minds. How open? The sun will come out tomorrow. What are we missing there? We're missing a whole opportunity. The sun will come. The sun will come. The sun will come. <laughs> Hey, uh, guys, you want to watch me get my ears pierced? Oh my god, yeah, can we? Yeah. <laughs> ah! yeah. I wish I wore something different. You're so cool. <laughs> so cool. Oh so you're going to wear your coolest. You're totally the coolest. Which ears are you getting pierced? <laughs> Not my ears. Okay, sorry, that was a stupid question. Whoa. Not my ears. Really? I'm going to do a push up. <laughs> oh, you're so good at those. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty cool. God, I can't believe these are the kind of people we meet in Hollywood when you just walk around and tell them that. It's the walk of stars! Oh, I know. Stars. She just walked over Ed McMahon's star like it was nothing. She doesn't care. She's I don't so even care. cool. Like it's nothing. Yeah, I'm not 34 trying to get a bunch of 19 year olds thinking I'm cool. <laughs> what? Huh? Nothing. <laughs> cool. Um, I'm going to pierce myself, so come over here. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. Can we, can we, can we film this? Hell yeah. But don't put it on the internet because I'm going to get a call from my parents. So. <laughs> it's going to be so cool. So Just right here on Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. You're not scared or anything though, right? Did you see me do a push up? I'm not scared. Okay. I'm very strong, very cool. Because okay, I thought buying just... a Spider Man costume would look interested in what was going on. And I don't know. Just be ready. I'm just saying. You can see your eye. Oh, your <laughs> and we just, I, I thought that was your. And we just have to give you ten dollars each. Yeah, yeah, ten dollars each to watch me pierce myself. Man, you're the coolest. So cool. <laughs> She has so many ten dollar bills. I bet you want to shut up. All right. Um. Let's see. Oh, Lucille Ball.
Ducks. Ducks. Dogs. Dogs. Wolf. Wait, hold on. Quack, 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 wolf, wolf, or. <laughs> Uh, he was a, do a doctor in World War II, uh, and the town tried to petition him not to go because they were like, we need, we need Dr. Bloom. Um, so uh, the healthcare system used to be way less fucked, and it used to just be town doctors and their patients, and there's a story about my grandfather. Uh, he, he would give people, a lot of people healthcare for free, and one time a guy said, uh, uh, Dr. Bloom, you have delivered all, this is a bad Bostonian accent, <laughs> Dr. Bloom, you have, you, you have delivered all, all eight of my children, um, uh, what, is there any way I can repay you? And so this is like the 40s. Uh, and my grandfather says, what's your trade? That's how early this was. It sounds like it's like in the 1840s, but I assure you it was the 1940s. He goes, what's your trade? And this man says, I make floors for bowling alleys. And my grandfather's like, great, I, I need a new floor in my office. So he built a bowling alley floor. Um, and uh, the house, I think, has since been turned over. But for the longest time, like, this house had the floor of a bowling alley. Um, now, years later, my parents and I got really into bowling. So I'm an only child. And uh, when you're an only child, you're kind of like your parents' idiot friend. <laughs> like, you're not, at least like I was with my parents, like, I wasn't as much a kid as much as like, they'd be like, hey, you fucking loser, you wanna go to the mall or go bowling? I'd be like, yeah, you guys are so cool. And they'd be like, whatever, we'll do the bowling. So my parents would always beat me at bowling. Like, they wouldn't pull their punches at all. They'd be like, yeah, we beat you. And <laughs> so we would go, we would go bowling, we briefly joined a bowling team. It was like a family bowling team, but no one liked us. So we left the family bowling team. No one liked us on a bowling team for families. Um, so we bowled, we bowled just a, a lot, and like that was, they were my friends. I didn't have a ton of friends growing up. It was my parents and me in these bowling alleys. And uh, I had my, I had my sixth grade, oh no, no, I'm sorry, I have sixth grade. I had my like first grade and second grade birthday party at these bowling alleys. Um, and I just bowling was very, very close to my heart. This is less of a story in that I'm just trying to give them details to improvise on. But all of this is very but all of this is very true, that bowling was the one sport we could uh, do. Um, my family's not known for athletic prowess. I am not known and was not known for athletic prowess. And one of the proudest moments I think my entire family ever had was we were at this fifth grade field day and we were playing Red Rover and my mom saw this whole thing go down and this whole other side of the class goes, Red Rover, Red Rover, send Rachel Rain over. Because they knew that was the way that they would win, right? Because I wasn't strong. Red Rover is you have to break through a group of people. And so 
I was like, I can't lose this. I can't lose any more respect of my peers. So I isolated the two weakest people in the in the other game of Red Rover. Because like, you always want to go to the sides, right? The thing about Red Rover, you never want to go for the middle. They're putting their strongest people in the middle. You want to pick off the little weaklings on the sides. And so I went to the sides and like I felt an inhuman rage um, <laughs> fuel me. And I busted through that line and like it was it was in that moment, I felt thousands of years of generational PE trauma <laughs> in my DNA. And my mom and my mom was watching the whole thing, and I just saw her be like, <laughs> um, and, and now I have a child, and I have a daughter, and I I don't want to raise her with the idea that that sports are not for her. I want her to be proud of herself and proud of her body, um, and proud of, of, of what her body can do. And a couple of months ago, this was like six months ago, uh, she was trying a new scooter in our front yard, and I went, yes, trying new things is wonderful. And I had a pair of roller skates that I'd only worn once uh, for like a photo shoot. Um, but I used to rollerblade as a kid, and I thought roller skates, rollerblades, they're the same. So I, uh, <laughs> but I was like, I want to encourage my daughter to be, to, to, to be okay with physicality, right? To be like brave. And so I put on the roller skates and I roll for four seconds in my front yard. I go like this, I wipe out, I catch myself, I instantly fracture both elbows. <laughs> but the most important thing to me was my daughter not be scared like I was. And so as I'm on the ground screaming in pain, I'm going, Sandy, this doesn't mean it's not okay to try new things! <laughs> and that's a story about a dog. Why are they coming to the side? They never come to the side. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This is like against the walls. Yeah, they always go to the middle. They're going to the side right now. Why are they going to the side? Know. He's recovering from the flu, don't you think? There's a weakness right there. At first, she, at first she just pointed right at us. She pointed She's right looking at, at us. She called, did she call us weak? I don't know. It looks like he has something to prove. Claire's parents are going through a divorce. I think she's emotionally fragile right now. Go right through. <laughs> Do you just want to take my temperature? 
But yeah, leave them. Leave them. Okay. So what's going on? Do you have that cold that everyone has? Yep. Dr. Mallard, some coffee. Thank you. Some coffee or tea? Uh, I, I don't know. What, what do you recommend, doctor? Uh, they're both fine. I guess give me both. Wait, Cigar, you cigarettes? <laughs> Honestly, fine. Whatever. I guess I'll, I guess I'll take both. Cigars and cigarettes. There's a cigar. Thank There's you. some cigarettes. Here's right. your coffee and tea. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, um, so do you have the same thing the whole block has, or what's going on? Uh, quick question, Chris. Is my insurance going to come with this stuff? Oh, no. No. Okay, well, that, that actually makes sense. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got the cold everyone's got. Um, I'd say pray about it. <laughs> yeah, go down to a local Catholic church, sort of pray about it. Okay. Or put, um... Like shot of whiskey, hot toddy before bed. Probably hot toddy before hot bed. Hot toddy? You're fine. You want me to go straight to a hot toddy? Hot toddy before bed, sort of the whole. What about supper? <laughs> yeah, you have to have. Uh, skip supper, hot toddy. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> and I light my cigar off of your cigarette. Yeah, that's okay. Wait, I'm <laughs> married. Oh. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Anything else? You pregnant? You tired? What's going on? Yeah, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Are you married? You better be married. No way. Not me. Not this one. <laughs> Alright, good for you. You're married. You're married. Where's yeah. your, uh, what do you got? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You want to talk to me about anything? I'm a town therapist. <laughs> Just outside the casino, every Thursday.
night at 4.35, 37, 39, and 11.30 p.m. Have a great night, everybody.